Hey everybody, welcome back to microbeerviews.com tonight from Sierra Nevada. This is their No Good IPA. I uh, realize the lighting is not that great, but uh, we're going to work with what we have here. This comes in their Multi 12 Pack 2018. This is brand new to us. Um, they do date stamp these, and it is about. It's actually almost four months old, which is not good for an IPA, but. Just purchased it in the store. Again, in the multi 12 pack, that's the only way I've seen it. IBUs are, I believe, 63. Uh, ABVs are 6.2%. Um, this is a hazy IPA. Um, again, I think we got three of these in the multi 12 pack. Price point was awesome. It was like uh, $17 or $18. So it's an American IPA with enough malt behind it to launch the citrus and floral hop notes. Uh, to go straight to your palate, um, making uh, it says uh, no good. It says making no good, no good, perfect for today or any day. Uh, when it comes to hot flavor, we know what is good, and so do you. That's a pretty boring description right there. Um, it does have comet and citra hops in it. Um, there's some bittering hops with some Simcoe, uh, some ale yeast, and two row pale malts, caramel, and oats, which is very, very common in the Sierra Nevada lineups. So, I have not cheated, I have not had this, let's get it into the glass. See what we have here with the American IPA, slightly hazy, good, or no good, no, being K-N-O, not N-O, IPA. Um, so, again, kind of a yellowish, perfectly filtered, which is what Sierra Nevada is known for. Nothing reserved for flowing around, a little bit of carbonation, perfect wet, frothy, foamy head. Um, this is a different aroma, for especially for a Sierra Nevada beer. It's a little bit of lemon. Um, definitely has that yeast strain smell to it. The hops are there for sure, but I'm not thinking it's smelling a lot like uh, Citra. Common or not very common, so... That might be what we're, we're kind of smelling here. It's got kind of a uh, kind of a boring aroma, actually. It's got a little bit of a kind of a little undertone of like some pepper, but it's 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 very bland. It's very um, there's a slight maybe I'm trying hard here, maybe like lemon, but it's 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 pretty boring. So as we always say, cheers. Let's get in the glass. See what we have going on here. Better than it smells. Tastes better than it smells. Um, very hoppy, good, fresh, even though it's only, or already rather, not only, but already almost four months old. That's my fault. Well, I don't know if that's really my fault. I bought this maybe about a week and a half ago, so that's, we'll, we'll say their fault. Um, it's got kind of a little bit of breadiness behind it, a little bit of malt behind it. Um, not any citrus at all uh, in the palate. Um, I'm not sure what they're talking about in the description. I mean, maybe in the palate, a teeny tiny bit of grapefruit, but I'm stretching there as well. So it's it's a very, it's a very hoppy. Um, it tastes more like a single hop, not very complex IPA. Um, finish was nice, a little light light body, um, smooth, you know, unfiltered. So this is one of those beers that like. We do these reviews and I've done them for years and I go, why in the world did Sierra Nevada even bother to brew this beer? That's the way I take it. I like this brewery. I think Sierra Nevada, just like a lot of the the breweries back in the day with the New Belgium, I mean, they, they started Sam Adams, they started the movement with craft beer. And I, it's kind of like, why do they have to keep trying to compete when they have good IPAs, they've got good pale ales. Um, I don't see the, pur I do not at all see the purpose of this one. Other than they have a kind of snappy looking label and a new name. I mean, the beer is boring. Um, there's nothing exciting about it. It tastes fine. It's just, it's bland. In the IPA market, it would get absolutely lost. Uh, I'm fine that it came in the 12 pack. It's not a bad beer. I'll drink it. It's, it, it's palatable. But I absolutely have no clue why a brewery like this with their extensive line would throw this in the lineup. I just don't see how this is 
at all different than anything else. So, again, not a knock on Sierra Nevada. I just don't understand why they made this beer. Um, Raider beer, if you want a five, I mean, gracious, I'd give this about a two and a half. Um, again, I'm fine. It came in the multi 12 pack. I would not buy this in a six pack or a, or a 12 pack by itself. It doesn't make any sense to me. So, if you've tried it, please leave comments on your YouTube channel, website, microbeerreach.com. No good IPA from Sierra Nevada. Thanks for watching. We upload all the time. We do appreciate all your support. Please leave comments, like I said. If you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, we'll see you again real soon. Cheers.